Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, the show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install the Stranger Things UV Light Kit. So grab your tools and let's get going. The UV Light Kit includes a new apron, two UV light strips, a power board, hardware, and a set of UV plastics. I would recommend keeping the standard plastics and the UV plastics separate as they look very similar. The UV plastics should have slightly larger ID number screened on them. To begin, open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. We will start by replacing the plastics first. Use a Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws from the right lane plastic. Then use the existing hardware to install the new UV plastic. Now move to the left side of the pinball machine and repeat this process. Next, we will be removing the left ramp to gain access to the plastics underneath. The left ramp is held on by four screws. I recommend placing a small towel and a nut bowl on the playfield to easily keep track of hardware. Start by removing the two lower screws and washers from the post extensions. Now move up the ramp and remove the screw and washer from the post extension that is in front of the red flasher housing. The last ramp screw you need to remove is to the left of the demigorgon. Now move the ramp to the side to gain access to the plastics below it. The wiring for the ramp flasher is still attached, so be careful not to move it too far to the side. With the ramp out of the way, remove the extension post and lock nut on the slingshot plastic along with the washers. Be sure to leave the giant washers in place as these will protect the corners of the sling plastics. If they are stuck to the bottom of the old plastic, be gentle when removing them. Install the UV plastic, the lower nut, and the washer and extension post. Make the nuts snug, but do not over tighten them. Move up the left side of the playfield and remove the two lock nuts for the next plastic, then install the UV plastic and reinstall the lock nuts. For the next plastic we need to change, there is an elevated clear plastic above it. You will need to remove the two screws holding on the clear plastic. Take note of where the flasher wiring is located and carefully remove the clear plastic. Now remove the two extension posts and washers, then remove the playfield plastic. Again, use caution when removing the plastic so as not to damage the flasher wiring. If you happen to be having issues with the ball guide feeding the ball into the lower left sling, you can loosen the two screws shown here and push the ball guide out slightly to help direct the ball to the left flipper. You can test it by dropping a pinball further up the orbit. Once you settle on a proper adjustment, retighten the two screws while holding the ball guide in place. This is not part of the UV light kit, but it is a good idea to adjust it since the plastic is already off. Now install the UV plastic, followed by the two washers and the two extension posts. Make sure the wiring for the flasher is placed in the cutout and is not getting pinched. Tighten down the two extension posts, but do not over tighten them. Reinstall the clear plastic using two washers and two screws. Again, make sure the flasher wiring is routed in the slot on the clear plastic. Use your Phillips screwdriver and tighten down the screws. With the UV plastics installed on the left side of the playfield, it is now time to move over to the right side. Start by removing the two lower screws and washers at the bottom of the ramp, and then move to the other end of the ramp and remove the screw and washer there as well. I would recommend using a magnetic tool to help keep the washer from falling into the pinball machine. The ramp will still be connected via the ramp flasher, but gently move the ramp to the side slightly and use your hex driver to remove the two extension posts at the bottom of the ramp. These two posts are different heights, so make sure to take note of which post belongs where. Remove the washers underneath the extension posts as well. My machine had the shorter post and two washers closest to the side of the cabinet. With the posts removed, you should have enough room to move the ramp to the side and access the plastics underneath. 
Now remove the hardware on the slingshot plastic and remove the standard plastic. Then install the UV plastic, making sure to install the plastic protector washers as well. The bottom post only uses a lock nut on top of the plastic, but the top post needs a washer. Next up is the plastic between the out lane and the shooter lane. Remove all of the long screws holding on the plastic. You will notice that the black spacer is attached to the plastic. Be careful when removing the old plastic as not to break it. You will need to apply some upward pressure around the spacer to remove the plastic. If the spacer stays connected to the plastic, use a pair of needle nose pliers and very gently work the spacer free from the old plastic as you will need it on the new UV plastic. You will need to add the old black spacers to the new UV plastics before installing them. Now use the long screws and washers and install the UV plastic. Now it is time to remove the plastic underneath the flasher. Remove the two nuts, remove the old plastic, and install the new UV plastic. Make sure to properly route the wire for the ramp flasher into the small cutout in the plastic. Since we will be raising the playfield, now is a good time to install cabinet protectors if you have them. Go ahead and partially raise the playfield and rest it on the support brackets. To install the new apron with the UV lights in it, remove the apron cards and the two nuts and washers located underneath. While installing the UV kit apron, make sure to properly route the wires into the corresponding holes in the playfield. Now reinstall the washers and nuts that hold on the apron and reinstall the apron cards. Move over to the left side of the pinball machine and grab the long UV bracket from the kit. Then feed the wires down the same hole as the flasher wiring. I gently used a long flathead screwdriver to fish the Molex connector and wire below the plastic and through the playfield hole. Make sure the wire for the UV kit feeds underneath the plastic ramp. Now grab one screw and one washer and install the lower mounting arm of the UV light kit between the extension post and the plastic ramp. Get the screw going, but do not tighten it down yet. Grab the three ramp screws and washers and reinstall the pinball ramp. Make sure the lower portion of the plastic ramp is situated below the drop off of the upper ramp section. This area is located just to the left of the demigorgon. Use the two short screws and two washers that came with the UV light kit and install the UV bracket on the underside of the plastic ramp. The metal on the UV bracket is threaded, but if you meet any resistance, take your time and be sure to properly align the screws with the threads. It may help to give a quarter turn counterclockwise to help find the threads in the UV bracket. At this time, go ahead and tighten down the loose screw at the end of the ramp. Now move over to the right side of the cabinet and reinstall the washers and the extension posts at the bottom of the ramp. Again, my machine had the longer post above the sling plastic and then two washers and the shorter extension post near the cabinet wall. Make the posts snug, but do not over tighten them. Now grab the shorter UV bracket and place it between the post and the plastic ramp. Gently thread a washer and a screw to hold it in place, but do not tighten it down yet. If you are resting the end of the metal bracket on the playfield, I would suggest placing a small towel or cloth under it to avoid scratching the playfield. Now reinstall the screw and washer at the back of the plastic ramp section, again making sure the tab for the lower ramp section is tucked under the upper ramp section. Now reinstall the remainder of the ramp screws. Grab the two remaining short screws and two washers and finish installing the right side UV light bracket. Don't forget to tighten down the screw at the very bottom of the ramp at this time. Here is what the UV light bracket should look like when properly installed. Now it is time to mount the UV power supply board and connect the wiring. Since we will be fully raising the playfield, I recommend placing a small towel or blanket on the back box to avoid scratching it. Remove the pinballs from the machine and then fully raise the playfield. Here is a look at the area where the UV power board will be mounted. If you look closer, you will see pilot holes for the location of the UV power board screws. Using the four screws included with the kit, 
Mount the UV power board to the playfield after properly aligning the board with the pilot holes. You may need to put a good bit of pressure to get the screws to bite into the wood. If you do, be sure to hold the playfield with your other hand to keep it from sliding backward and possibly falling down. Next, unravel the wires from the UV power board. These wires will connect to the UV light brackets and the UV lights in the apron. Now connect the brown and black slash yellow wires to the Molex connector you fed through the right side of the playfield. Connect the brown and white slash yellow wires to the Molex connector you fed through the left side of the playfield. Now route the brown and violet and brown and red wires up towards the apron area. Connect the brown and violet slash yellow wires to the Molex connector you fed through the hole in the playfield for the left side of the apron. Lastly, connect the brown and red slash yellow wire to the Molex connector you fed through the hole in the playfield for the right side of the apron. Now it is time to connect the pinball machine to the UV power supply board. Here you can see the connectors we need to use to power the UV board. In order to have enough cable to plug in the UV power board, you will need to clip the zip tie for the looped bundle of wires. Be careful not to accidentally clip any wires. With the zip tie clipped, Feed the necessary wires towards the UV power board. Now plug in the two 3-pin connectors and the larger 5-pin connector. The 5-pin connector is keyed so make sure to install it in the proper orientation. Make sure the 3-pin connectors are installed in the proper orientation as well as seen here. Now grab a large zip tie and redo the zip tie on the large cable loop. With that complete, use some smaller zip ties and clean up the cables from the UV light board. You want to make sure the wires are out of the way and they do not get pinched or caught in any mechs. Be sure to leave a little slack in the wires around connection points. When you are finished installing the zip ties, go back and cut off the excess portion of the zip ties. Now partially lower the play field and rest it on the support brackets, and then turn on the pinball machine. Open the coin door, and if your machine has one, pull the white lockout switch to the out position so high voltage can flow under the playfield with the coin door open. Now go into the service menu, select Adjustments, select Feature Adjustments, hit Select, then use the plus button to change the UV kit installed from No to Yes, then hit Select. Now press the back button twice, select Diagnostics, then select ST. This will bring you into the UV test mode. Here's what the UV light should look like when functioning properly. If everything looks good, remove the towel from the back box and completely lower the playfield. Since the UV kit does not include additional decals for the apron, you will need to remove the old ones. These decals are very thick and are very easy to remove. Gently remove each of the decals and install them on the new UV kit apron. With the decals installed, go ahead and remove the cabinet protectors, reinstall the pinballs, install the playfield glass and lockdown bar, and close the coin door. Be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.